Jay McNeary. Well, good morning, my colleagues. Uh, a little less than 24 hours ago, I ascended here uh, and spoke about an event that happened in my hometown of Stockton, California, in which a deranged man with a, an assault weapon carried out the first mass murder of a schoolyard, killing children, three uh, children, uh, five, uh, five children, six to eight years old. That was tragic. This morning, I want to talk about another event that happened here in the Capitol in 1998, when a deranged man entered the Capitol building who hated the federal government and immediately shot two of our Capitol Police officers, killing both of them. Now, this kind of event was not considered a mass murder because only two people died. So this kind of event, we see hundreds happening every single day in this country, every single day. And yet nothing happens. So that begs the question, what kind of a civilization do we want to have? Do we have a, want to have a civilization in which people roam the streets, armed to the teeth, people drive around in their cars with all kinds of weapons, in which any kind of misunderstanding can result in a gunfight? Pools of blood. Is that the kind of civilization we want? Typically, civilization increases as civilization improves, violence decreases. Look at history. Slavery is gone, torture is gone, by and large. But we're taking a step backward. Ladies and gentlemen, we're entering a period in which the United States will be an armed camp. Or do we want a civilization in which people trust each other enough to be able to go outside, to be able to enjoy a movie, to be able to enjoy a restaurant, to be able to go to church, to be able to go to school and not have to go through metal detectors to go to school. That's the kind of a civilization we want. Now, I ask my colleagues, week after week, we pass message bills, message bills that try to overturn the health care reform, message bills that try to do away with the Environmental Protection Agency, message bills that have no chance of passing. Why don't we take up a bill that has a chance of passing, a bill that has some meaning, a bill that will affect millions or thousands of people of American lives. Now, I ask my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, I know many of you, you're good people. You're here for the right reasons. You care about our country, you care about our district. So why don't we sit down and do something to reduce this violence? Remove the shackles of the NRA, remove the shackles of the gun, manufacturing industry. Stop the violence. Work together. If you don't like our proposals, come together with something that means something. And don't give us another message bill. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask my colleagues on this side of the aisle, on the other side of the aisle, work together. End the violence.